And it is one you cannot win. If Brasidas dies, his blood is on your hands! His, yours, and every one of your friends! Are you mad? We can still stop! Enough! We will not stop! I don't want to kill you, Alexios! But I will stop you! My name is Demos!
one of us will die. Isn't that the point? I found Mate. Finally reunited, only to lose each other again! I don't know what you were thinking back there. What? Trying to save you? That's not what that was. I told you to stay out of my way. Yet here you are. So what? I'm a prisoner until I'm killed? That's the plan. Or I could come in there and end you anytime I please. But before that, tell me what you know. I thought your cultists told you everything. Sounds like you're on their side, but they're not on yours. You think I'm just a puppet? Then prove it to me. Tell me why I'm on the wrong side. Convince me. I dare you. What do you want to know? Everything you claim to be true. But after this, I kill you. Why was I abandoned that night on the mountain? Ask the people who want me dead. Who treat you like a fucking god. You dare insult the ones who didn't leave me to die? They were the ones who sent you over that cliff. I gave them victory! They would throw away their champion? Malaka! You're being used. You wouldn't be here with me if you thought they were telling you the whole truth. Here's the truth. If all they wanted was a soldier, there are thousands. They want me, and only me. Wake up, Alexios! The moment you fall, they'll find someone else. Someone more controllable. Why do you think they want me too? You think they want you? If the cult wanted you, they would have saved you. If Marini wanted you, she'd be here. Accept it. No one wants you. One day, you'll realize their future doesn't include people like us. Then I wasn't meant to belong anywhere. Themos, we've been searching for you, and you are here, in the gutter. I hear it shouting. It's nothing. Leave. Now! This was not your action to take, boy. Do whatever you want with her. I intend to. Now go.
Keep in mind, you put yourself in the cell. I don't recall doing that. You have to understand. This is all for Athens, Cassandra. Pericles would have impoverished the entire city. The people were living in squalor. So you had him murdered? You can't find the perfect yog without breaking some of the quail's eggs. He wasn't right for us. Killing your adversaries proves what kind of leader you are. Oh, I'm just getting started. If only you'd be around to watch. Come into the cell. You're here to kill me, aren't you? Let's see what happens. Fortunately for me, there are other fires I need to extinguish. I have heard word of revolt. Already? That was fast. I have a plan. They can't revolt if they're dead. I don't know how you can take on a band of rebels if you refuse to fight this one. The act itself is out of my hands. The vote has been cast. What did I tell you? The people have given me their blessing. I use their power. That's not democracy. The people have chosen their destiny, Cassandra. They've chosen me. Fuck you, Cleon. <laughs> I'm not alone in this. The people of Athens have spoken without me lifting a finger. That is how you treat rebellion. They don't know what they're agreeing to. The cult wins, Cassandra. Now, I have to see about the boat heading to Mytilene. Its people are in for a rude awakening. <whistles> <laughs> <laughs> Let me put an end to your suffering! Interesting. Death may be the greatest of human blessings after all. Ah, at least you tried. Surely it's the thought that counts. Thank the gods you are alive, Cassandra. If those guards are not the last, I say we need to leave and do so quickly. Wait, we need to talk about Cleon. Socrates is on to that Malacca. We know what he is doing. Be brief. Her equipment, Varnavas. Come, Varnavas. Cassandra, meet us at Pericles' residence. There we'll discuss all we know. The steps to the Parthenon are long and built on corpses.
wonder if it's worth getting one of those new lava You made it. Of course I did. Varnavas was ready to go after you again. Like he said, it's the thought that counts, right? Apparently. Come, the others are waiting. We were worried you wouldn't make it. Especially with every Athenian guard looking for you. Cleon will have to do more than that to stop me. What's all this? We've begun working on a plan to take down Cleon. Although I hardly call it a plan. Lots of talking, not much action. It feels different without Pericles. But his inspiration lives on. That's why we're here. Where once we gathered to forget our problems, now we meet them head on. And get back to what truly matters. To restore Athens to its former glory. So, you're taking down Cleon. Tell me the plan. It won't be simple. His death would disrupt the peace and be worse for Athens. He's right. We must discredit him first. Aristophanes apparently has some play he thinks will do the job. Some play? It is so much more than that. Oh, don't get your tunic in a twist. I just don't see why we can't all love each other. It's so much more fun that way. What's so special about the play? Will your famous orange ape impression be making an appearance? Ha! Funnily enough, that was the inspiration. Isn't it a risk to show him in a bad light in front of his admirers? I think the play will change their minds. Good art is risky, but my plan will work. We can't just sit around. Cleon is sending a boat to Mytilini to kill the people there. The people trust Cleon. They'll vote for whatever action he puts forth. But that does not mean we plan to do nothing. Taking down Cleon won't be easy. But with your help, it will be possible. Oof. Should have stayed. Someone needed to stop Cleon. Fools look backwards in times like these, and you're no fool. For now, we work to save Mitilini. So that's what all this is? Some kind of plan? Ever since I heard Cleon speak of Mitilini, I have known something was wrong, and I've been taking steps to find out just what. Your plan sounds promising. One of my students is posing as a guard at the Acropolis. Apparently, Cleon is hiding something there, and has been meeting others in secret. That's a bold move. Desperate times. If you believe there's something at the Acropolis that'll help, I'll find it. I expect you'll find the proof you need of his offenses. Where do you need me to go? To the western section of the Acropolis Sanctuary. I'll find something at the Acropolis that Cleon won't be able to deny. Good. I'm headed soon to speak in front of the people at the Pedix. If you find anything that can help, meet me there. I'll be quick.
I'm not dead yet. This area will be well defended. This looks like someone dug here. So to get the key, I need to find the commander Phylos. Muddy tracks. Probably came from someone in the garden. This shovel looks recently used. Look 
Socrates was right. This is exactly what we needed. Good, you're here. The people are waiting for me to speak. You should be able to use this to your advantage. It's what I could find about Cleon. Mytilene is just the first of many places that he wants to wipe out. With the sway he has over the police, he'd get the votes for death every time. Then it's up to us, right now, to change their minds. So, you'll join me? How am I supposed to help? You're the speaker, not me. That's exactly why you'll be able to help. I need you to act like the people who support Cleon. It won't be easy, but I'll do what I can. But Socrates! Cleon is a man of the people! Tell me, if you harm someone with a sword, are you not responsible? I am! What if you hired someone else to harm another? Are you still responsible for that harm? That's ridiculous! I'm not harming the person, someone else is. Would the person not have been safe from harm otherwise? From me, at least, yes. Then you admit you bear responsibility for that harm, for you have still participated in it, even if indirectly. I suppose I do. We have agreed that we may harm another, even if not by our own hands. That's right. So, let me ask you another question. Who should you trust? The many, or the one who has more expertise? I follow the one with expertise. Surely they know better than I do. Then your decision is based only on what another says. It's all I have to go off of. And if they lied? Everyone makes mistakes. I would continue to follow them. It's only natural to believe the person you follow is worth your loyalty. However, those who are untrustworthy do not deserve to lead. Yes! You're right! So you agree that someone who lies to you is not worthy of leading? Of course! Oh, Athenians! Would you not also agree that you can have responsibility for harming another even through someone else? I would! And would you follow someone you found out had lied to you for their own gain? Of course not. Above all things, therefore, I beg and implore you, hear these words. The one you currently follow is lying for his own gain. Cleon has lied to you in order to get the votes needed to attack Mytilene. And we have the proof that he'll do it again. Should the ship arrive in Mytilene, the people stand no chance of surviving. Now that you know the truth, you can take back your decision. Another vote must be called. The lives of those people are in your hands too. The ship must be stopped.
That probably could have gone better, but even so, I believe the people are unable to deny the proof we presented. All we did was talk. What we did was far more. We used proof and clear argument to bring forth an outcome that will not just hurt Cleon, but hopefully save countless lives. But was it enough? I believe word of Cleon's misdeeds will be shared throughout Athens. Its citizens love the city and what it stands for. Nobody wishes for it to fall. Yeah, this is heavy, Molly. Yeah, you need